Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video in Windows Project Escalation series, we'll be discussing about passwords. So guys, uh, if you have been following my previous videos, we have covered some kind of uh, previous escalation techniques through Service Explorer, reg Registries and something like that. And if you missed any of them, you can check out my playlist, so which is available in the description below. And if you need any kind of notes or kind of short notes, so you can check out my uh, repository so all the links are going to be in the description below and uh, it's been a quiet time so that's the reason i'm refreshing it so uh, and even the our uh, will be using try hack me room which is for free so just start the machine and uh, as always connect to the vpn and get the your session and we can go ahead so uh, guys this video will be discussing about how you can uh, attain the password so what happens is like uh, not all the time you will be exploiting some kind of a service exploits or something like that kernel exploits or uh, something like that so sometimes what you will do is like you will get uh, it is going to be easy like you can simply search for uh, some kind of uh, sensitive information and uh, sometimes who knows sometimes you might find some kind of sensitive information like passwords ssh keys or something like that so how you can do that uh, we'll be requiring this win piece so win piece i already transferred that so win piece and also guys if you can see here so i have my uh, what you call this rdp session and I can see I transferred my shell.exe and also the winpeach.exe and even I got some kind of a, a connection, a command line session kind of thing here. And I transferred both of them. You can see here. So shell.exe for my uh, reversion and the winpeach for two in the winpeach stuff. So winpeach.exe. So don't run it. Let's don't run it blindly. We'll use some options here. So that's the best thing because what happens is like sometimes the uh, the terminal screen gets kind of uh, hung. So that's the reason. So I like running it with options. So the main part here is like so files info and files analysis. So I saw a few boxes. So what I done is like so most of the time I search for it. So let us assume that you are have your uh, your target is like a latest version like Windows Server 2019 or 2022 or whatsoever. So in those cases, the chance of finding the kernel exploit or something like that is very low. So in those cases, you can just use these two options files info and files and file analysis. So this uh, does the same thing. So it searches for some files. Okay, you can see the file analysis is kind of more. Uh, it goes bit deep, but files info uh, will check for some kind of files. So sometimes what happens is like in in real life as well. So some administrators or not only the administrators, even the normal users uh, save their passwords in some kind of notepad or some kind of file and they put it on the desktop or on some other location. So once you get an access as a normal user, then you can uh, enumerate as much as the information. So I'm going with the automated way, but there are some other options like you can use some other utilities okay, uh, in Windows and you can try to find out them as well. But this is the easiest way uh, you can go through. So first, let's start with the files info and let's see what we can get. Okay, so let's run this option. So win piece okay dot exe and let me paste the option files info so it is going to only look for the files okay so for some sensitive information and you can see it is kind of the output is kind of less because we uh, provided only few options so that's a good thing and you can see you have some kind it even found, found out some uh, directories which has like all access like you can see this rogue potato dot exe and print spoofer so these some kind of uh, what you call scripts okay so this is the lab right so in order to practice all these stuff so there are some kind of scripts and kind of payloads as well so cleanup.ps1 uh, is like some kind of uh, uh, a powershell script so what it does is like once the system is restarted it will clean everything so that's the basic thing uh, you you'll find it almost all the try hack me machines and you can see some uh, search hidden files you can see uh, you can see some files and folders as well but those might not always be useful for you and uh, uh, let's go a bit and you can see there is a, a, a stuff highlighted here so credential.exe so there is a password uh, there is a possibility so you can simply go there you can try to access it but uh, I tried it there is nothing there but like if you find it you can just use it uh, you can try to uh, read it what's uh, given there and you have some kind of stuff so file permissions so user read so you have an access to the SAM file so security uh, accounts manager kind of thing and you can see there is an interesting file here so unattended file so some kind of a name here and you can see there is some uh, thing called as password like this is some kind of HTML guys okay but you can see it's an XML so even XML and HTML 
the uh, syntax the uh, tags the closing tags are some kind of similar so you can see there is a password and there is a value here so let's copy this so this is nothing but as uh, i think most people would guess that it is some kind of uh, uh, what you call a base 64 so let's go to the browser and let's load up our cyber chef so uh, if you haven't used uh, if you don't know about cyber chef so i already made a detailed video on that you can go that and check that out so it's a good tool so you can keep that in your uh, toolkit it will be definitely useful for you okay, mainly for cracking finding the hashes or something like that okay so let's load it the base 64 and if you don't know like uh, you might be confused like Sathvik, how did you find out it's a base 64 like some beginners will get the doubt so there is something called in kali called as hash identifier okay so uh, hash ident uh, identifier so it's a pre-built tool so just put the hash or whatever encoded string or whatever it is so here it is not showing up but uh, sometimes the hashes and it will try to find it out but i think it used to find out the base 64 previously but i'm not sure okay but let's put the input here and that uh from base 64 is the right thing i guess so you can see uh we decoded that and you can see it is password one two three we don't know uh whose password is this but we know just it's password one two three so it might be of other users okay so while you enumerate the users like uh like you might be having two or three more users so you can just try to get an rdp session and if you're able to log in then you can conclude that it's their password th those accounts password so that's the thing we just got a password so just keep that in mind and we have uh, we got uh, we got some kind of office 365 endpoint so these might not always be useful but here comes an interesting thing the putty session so putty if you don't know it is a kind of application for ssh and stuff so you can connect to ssh to any ssh server or whatever it is through the help of putty and you have some information like there's a session name uh i don't know what this name is all about so like someone might be connected uh, to the ssh i guess i don't know but i'm not sure and you can see the username is admin and the password is password 123 so we can conclude something like uh, this particular password that we got uh, which is encoded previously is might be of admin but we are not sure okay so let and this is what it is so we found out some important information like guys like you might not always see this kind of information in every box so every box might be configured with some kind of uh, a privilege escalation technique so here it is one of, one of its kind so how you can verify so we we'll just close this session okay and let's uh let me do let's do an rdp session here so we got the same so let's change the user to admin and so you might be confused like what is user and password 321 so there is some default user in this try hack me uh, for this try hack me room and those are that and let's modify them and let's hit enter and let's see whether we can uh, we can log in as an admin or not and let's see whether it is working or not so like uh sometimes what happens is like you call it as like a rabbit hole or honey pot or whatsoever so they'll give you some kind of a fake credential sometimes so even i've uh, seen that and i wasted like 10 to 20 minutes on that because uh, i was unable to log in like there are eight users on that machine and there is an active uh, there is some kind of rdp open so what it is like i uh, keep on looking for our desktop connection and i haven't got anything so it wasted some of my time and if you can see here like this is pretty much everything i guess like uh, if you can see the server manager is opening but let's open the cmd and uh, by opening cmd you can see we are admin here so i guess we got a high privileged access here so that is an easy part and uh, and i think we already we i think we have the session i guess uh, yes we have the session so one more option to run for is like uh, win uh, win piece uh, dot exe file analysis so this is like a deep search compared to that of files uh, files info thing so it, it goes deep as well so we'll wait uh, till the scan completes and also guys so once you get a credentials do verify whether they are right one or not okay so it is even showing up pulling up some kind of ssh agent file so might these might be some kind of files which is using ssh in the background i'm not sure but you need to go ahead and test and you can see it is there are some log files as well i think we can uh, i don't know whether we can access them or not and you can see there is a progress going on uh guys it took some time and even it crashed this windows machine couple of times because it is doing a lot okay uh in like it is taking up a lot of the resources you can see it's stuck for me at 70 percent but uh, one time i got uh what i can see is like it even gives you the log files and even some files which might possibly consist uh, consist the uh, sensitive information so you can go ahead and you can do check them out 
and so that is that is it guys how you can make use of this particular uh, like how you can find out this passwords or some uh, sensitive stuff and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you